your Norcast weather update. Brought to you by ACUA, keeping Atlantic County clean and green for a bright future. And good late Friday evening. I'm meteorologist Bobby Clark with an update on your forecast. Hope you had a fantastic week. Thanks for joining me for tonight and as we take you through the rest of the weekend. Temperatures across the area, boy, it's quite humid in the eastern seaboard. It's for certain out there and even into the Midwest here. Temperatures mainly in the 60s. Humidity is rising. That will continue to be the case. It looks like the story for this weekend before we start to see some nicer air move in here, I think, as we head into the middle of next week. But unfortunately, the weekend, we're going to stay on the muggy, humid, and unfortunately, the warm side. Now, tonight we are on the muggy side. Fog will start to develop as we head into the day, uh, daybreak hours, but we should be mainly clear up until that fog does start to develop. Temperatures dipping back into the low to mid 60s, a little bit warmer along the shore with that sea breeze setting up. And water temperatures right now in the mid to upper 60s. So definitely temperatures are warmer across the shore, and therefore we'll see a lot more of that foggy conditions, especially the farther east you go to the shore itself. Your exclusive Norcast region by region hyperlocal forecast for tomorrow. Temperatures back up into the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. Tack on that humidity, it's going to feel between 95 and 100, unfortunately, out there. So we went from a nice, gorgeous weekend last weekend, and now we're back to the heat and humidity. But it is the end of June. We're starting to get into those dog days of summer across the area itself. But 88 in Westchester, 89 in Pottstown, 88 in Quakertown, 90 in Ben Salem. As we head farther south and east, same story. We'll see temperatures reaching near 90 degrees across most of the inland areas. And again, as I mentioned, with that humidity, is going to make it feel that much warmer. Temperatures near 95 to even 100 degrees. So definitely, if you have any kind of outdoor activities, any kind of sports going on with your children, uh, definitely keep yourselves uh, hydrated and obviously in the shade if you can, obviously across the area itself. Heading farther south and east towards the shoreline, then we start to see temperatures cool just a bit, around 80 degrees in Summers Point, 85 in Galloway, 87 New Gretna. But then here we come the heat, pair of eights in Buena Vista, and of course we got ourselves 89 in Hamilton. So again, with that humidity, will make it feel even that much worse out there. And even along the shoreline itself, you usually get a little bit of relief, still going to see temperatures in the low to mid 80s and farther south and east we go. Temperatures right around the upper 70s. That's some nice relief in LBI and Brigantine, but EHT 87, 80 in Avalon, 879 in Cape May. So get farther inland you go, obviously the more heat it's going to be out there. And of course, with that heat and excuse me, with that humidity is going to make it feel that much worse across the region itself. As we take a look at the forecast, the uh, future cast, satellite radar composite, really nothing to talk about in terms of cloud cover. Any cloud cover out there is going to basically wane away. but as you can see, that fog starts to develop as we head towards the daybreak hours tomorrow morning. And that will slowly burn off to mostly sunny skies, I think, by the time we hit the afternoon. Could see some cloud cover pick, picking up as we head into the afternoon hours itself. But most of the day will be sunny until the afternoon itself. Those clouds wane away. Yep, let's put it on repeat as we hit into Sunday morning. More fog starts to develop, especially along the shoreline. And then we begin to watch a cold front begin to move in here as we head into the Great Lakes, as we head into Sunday on into Monday, I think, before it actually gets here. So that will start to creep in here and will start bringing us some relief, I think, by the time we head to the midweek time frame as we head into the next several days. But then as we head into Monday, unfortunately, with that cold front pushing through, we might have ourselves a cloudy day, some humidity, and we have to deal with some showers and some storms, especially as we head towards the later morning on into the afternoon hours itself. As for, as for Sunday, 90 degrees out there, inland, 80 along the shoreline. Again, it'll feel near 100 to 105, I think, with that humidity that's out there. So definitely be careful another day of dealing with those temperatures and that humidity making it feel that much worse. So definitely take frequent breaks if you have any kind of out plans outdoors, maybe doing some gardening, stuff like that. Just be careful as you're heading out and about. Seven day forecast, here comes that cold front on Monday, 82 degrees and muggy, and then it turns nicer for the middle of the week, 78 on Tuesday with low humidity. I think we keep that low humidity through Wednesday before warm front pushes through, I think on Thursday. Could bring a shower later on, I think fr Thursday on into Friday, but look what it does for our temperatures. Back up into the 90s, feeling warmer with that humidity as we head into next weekend. Have a great night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow morning.